Hey guys, it's Sam, and today I'm going to be filming my bookshelf tour. Now this is an updated one, as you may recall I have already done one, but this is going to be an updated one as I have acquired a few other books since I did that. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so the first books on my top shelf, as you can see, are mainly series. So the first books I have are The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Inferno, part of the Robert Langdon series, or by Dan Brown. Then I have the first book in the Infernal Devices series, which is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. And then I have the Mortal Instruments series, also by Cassandra Clare. So I have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. Then I have part of the A Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. So I have Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings, Storm of Swords, Book 1, Steel and Snow, and Bo Storm of Swords, Book 2, Blood and Gold. And then I have the first two books in the Agtar series. As some of you may have heard, there will be a third book coming out next year, I believe. So I have A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury, both by Sarah J. Mass. Then on the second shelf, again, quite a few series on the shelf. So I have the first book of the Derek Storm series, which is made up of the first three books, A Brewing Storm, A Raging Storm, and A Bloody Storm by Richard Castle. And then I have the first three books in the Nikki Heat series, also by Richard Castle. So I have Heat Wave, Naked Heat, and Heat Rises. Then I have The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and The Return of Sherlock Holmes, both by Arthur Conan Doyle. Then I have the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness. So I have A Discovery of Witches, Shadow of Night, and The Book of Life. Then I have Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. As you can see, it is a very tiny book. That's a Collins Classics version. Then I have the first book in the Snow Like Ashes trilogy, which is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche. Then I have the Collector's Edition of Divergent by Veronica Roth. Then I have the Girl Online trilogy by Zoe Sugg, I forgot her name then, which is Girl Online, Girl Online on tour, and then the newest book, which is Girl Online Going Solo. Then I have the first and third book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is Fellowship of the Ring and Return of the King, both by J.R.R. Tolkien. Then I have three books of the 50th anniversary series for Doctor Who, which is a set of 11 books altogether, one for each of the Doctors. So I have number five, Fear of the Dark by Te Trevor Braxendale. Baxendale, sorry. I butchered that name, I do apologise. Then I have the sixth book, which is Players by Terence Dix. And the tenth book, which is Beautiful Chaos by by Gary Russell. And then the last shelf, which is a very awkward shelf to film, I do apologise for the angle. So I have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, which is the first book in the Grisha trilogy. Sorry, I am full of a cold at the moment, I do apologise for that. Then I have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Red Rising by Pierce Brown, Havana Storm by Clive and Dirk Kussler. B Bone Bed and Red Mist, both by Patricia Cornwell. A Man of Insignificance by Casey Dowling. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. I also have The Three Musketeers, but at the moment that cannot fit on my shelf. Looking for Alaska by John Green. The White Queen by Philippa Gregory. The Fire Sermon 
by Francesca Haig. Respect by Amanda Sue Heller. Marie Lou by Legend. Legend by Marie Lou. Sorry, I got that the wrong way around. Incarnate by Jody Meadows. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this cover? It is absolutely beautiful. Then I have the first book in the Lunar Chronicles series, which is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Then I have Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And that is the movie tie-in version. I have not seen the movie yet, so no... And I have not finished the book, so no spoilers, please. And I have Avenged by Jackie Rose. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Now I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the books that can't fit on my shelves. So I have The Click by Lissy Harrison. Then I have a book which I've borrowed from a friend and I'm currently reading. And that's A Whole New World by Liz Braswell. Which I've been told is a retelling of Aladdin. Where Aladdin never found the lamp and Jafar found it instead. Then I have Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. I have the hard book original Bloomsbury edition of Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. Then I have All These My Bazoomers I See Before Me by Louise Redison. Then I have p part of the Outlander series. I'm not entirely sure which book this is. Which is the book is Drums of Autumn by Diana Gabaldon. Then I have Kenneth, Kevin Kennedy's autobiography. And give me one moment. I'll show you that it is. I actually got it signed. This would. This wouldn't be as hard if I was, wasn't doing this myself. I do apologise for the sucky camera quality. As you can see, it is signed. Then I have Username Evie by Joe Sugg, which is the brother of Zoe Sugg, I believe. Then I have the Wanted Autobiography, Our Story, Our Way. And then I have Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, which is the, vis the visual companion to the first movie. Then, last on my bookshelf, I have my I have a couple colouring books and activity books. So I have an unofficial puzzle treasury for Game of Thrones. I have a Doctor Darth Tolkien, which includes the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Hobbit, Similarity, and all his books. Then I have the official Game of Thrones colouring book from George R. R. Martin. And then I have the Lord of the Rings movie trilogy colouring book. And then I do have a few books on my windowsill, which again cannot fit on my bookshelf. So I have the Inspector Morse Omnibus by Colin Dexter, which has The Death of Jericho, Service of All the Dead, and The Silent World of Nicol Nicholas Quinn. Then I have two other books by Louise Renison, which is Knocked Out by My Nunga Nungas, and stop in the name of pants. Then I have the third and fourth book in the Twilight Saga, which is Eclipse. And Breaking Dawn. And then the last books I have are The Crucible by Arthur Miller, Pride and Premiership by Michelle Gale, I Remember You by Harriet Evans, The Book of the Dead by Patricia Cornwell, A Face Like Glass by Francis Hardinge, and Air Crashes and Miracle Landings, How, When, and Most Importantly, Why by Christopher Barlett. So that is my bookshelf tour. I do hope you enjoyed it. And again, I do apologise for the camera quality. I have been filming this myself. But give me, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment 
down below what videos you'd like to see next time. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!